Hey, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Renee. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. I appreciate you being here. I hope if you haven't joined Nene's Glam Squad yet that you'll go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn up the notification bell, that way you can get notified anytime I make a new upload. If you wouldn't mind, give the video a thumbs up. It means a lot to me, it helps out my channel, and it lets YouTube know that you enjoy seeing my content. And leave a comment, say hi. Let me know that you stopped by. I like to hear from you guys. Today is Get Ready With Me Wednesday. I do this every week with my girl, Kat. Hey girl, hey. <laughs> I'm excited to do these every week and see Kat's video and what she's been up to and how she's doing. And I also enjoy doing the Get Ready With Me, trying new stuff. So let's get into it, okay? I'll be right back. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. All right, let's get into this. I'm gonna pin my hair back. I'm actually doing this Wednesday morning and I hope that I can get it uploaded in time. We shall see, we shall see. We're gonna get into some of my new products. I'm gonna use this Too Faced Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer infused with peach and sweet fig milk. I got this in my Busy Beauty Store PR box, so we're gonna give it a whirl. If you guys don't know who Kat is, I suggest you go over and check her out. She's amazing. I love her so much. She has great videos. She did just post a video um, playing bass. Oh my gosh. I would love to hang out with her like in person in real life and go to karaoke and like jam out. I don't know. It would be fun. I love karaoke, but I haven't been in forever. I had a friend at work and... Um, he invited me to be in their band and I went and I sang a few times but I don't know I'm I don't know if I'm meant to, to be on a stage you know what I mean like I just karaoke is one thing but like actually remembering all the words to the songs and when to start and when to finish and not having like the little prompter thing it like makes me nervous and I'm always scared that I'm gonna mess up I think I like that. What do you guys think? I'm also gonna use this uh, Laura Geller Spackle Mist Restore that I got in another Busy Beauty Store PR box. I think I'm gonna use my Il Maquillage Foundation. It's getting low, you guys. I can't even pump it out anymore. I have to open it up to get what's in there out. <laughs> I need to let this sit for a minute. I do have a giveaway going on, you guys, if you want to go check it out. I'll try to remember to leave it linked in the end. This is probably not the right way to apply my foundation from the little stick in there, but hey, it works for me, so that's how we're doing it. I really need to order some more of this. I love the Il Maquillage Foundation. It's just kind of pricey, but I think it's worth it. And this has lasted me a really long time. Because let's be honest, I have a lot of foundations and I don't use it every day. So of course it's going to last a while. So I guess I don't really mind spending the money because it's not like I'm going to spend that much money and it's going to be gone right away. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? I have a massage appointment today that I need to go to. And then after that, I can still see a little red. I have to come back and pick up my son because we had eye appointments today. <clears throat> we were actually supposed to go back, I think in November is when our like year was to get our eyes checked because we go every year. But um, they never like sent me a reminder text like they normally do. Like usually they'll text me and say, hey, it's time to make your appointment. And then I can call them and set up my appointment. Well, they didn't this year. And I remembered in October, so I called to set our appointments. And she was looking at their appointments. And they were like, we don't have anything until January. I'm like, what, January? Jeez, that's three months. So work wanted me to work today and have a couple different days off. And I was like, I can't. I have my, my massage appointment and I have me and Junior's eye appointments and it's been three months. So I'm not rescheduling. You know what I mean? I can't. 
I'm gonna have to wait that long. I need some new glasses. I feel like my, I feel like ever since I got glasses, like my vision is getting worse for some reason. I don't know how that's possible, but it's, it feels that way. All right, what do we wanna do next? I'm gonna use my e.l.f. bronzer because I really like this bronzer. And I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this F3 bling brush and I just tap it in like this tap it off a little bit and then just put it down right and just kind of I don't know how to explain how I do this but it's like flicking down a little bit I guess I think it works for me and I like putting it on before I put on my powder I need to do my concealer too I'm doing this ass backwards you guys my birthday's coming up and I'm getting nervous about it because my mom was 49 when she passed away and I'm gonna be 49, so it just like makes me super nervous, you know what I mean? It's like something that's always weighed on my mind over the years, but I never really like thought about it too much, you know? Um, but now that it's like knocking at my door, <laughs> I'm starting to get like super, super nervous and I know that my mom and I are two different people and everything but it still like weighs on your mind it really does and it's also the anniversary of the death of my sister Missy which makes it hard as well because December 2015 me and my sister Brandy went back east and we surprised her. She didn't know we were coming. We just friggin' showed up. And the weather was amazing. For December, it was like, I want to say in the 70s and 80s back there. But we went back there to go to a football game with her because the Seahawks were playing Baltimore in Baltimore. So got to go visit family, got to surprise my sister, and we got to go to a football game together to go see our teams play. And we won. <laughs> she wasn't too happy about that, but <laughs> it was a fun day. It was a really fun day. And she was dressed up in all of her Ravens gear, and I was dressed up in all of my um, Seahawks gear. So it was a lot of fun being dressed up, and people would stop us and ask to take pictures with us. It, it, was, it was really a cool day. And I could have never imagined that two months later I would get a phone call saying that she had passed away. I'm gonna use my Mini Mix Palette Blushful. This is the Ofer palette that I got in my Busy Beauty Store PR box. And I'm gonna go in with this color right here, which is Pink Ribbon. I think it's Pink Ribbon. It's kind of blurry. Yeah, Pink Ribbon is the color, so right there. What brush do I wanna use? What brush do I wanna use? I think I'll use this one right here. I've been using this pineapple set since I decluttered. I wanted to like use some different brushes, you know what I mean? Because they're just sitting there, they need to be used. And then when these are dirty, I can pull out the next set. <laughs> and it'll give me some time, you know what I mean? So I'm not always having to wash my brushes, you know what I mean? Like I'll have, I'll have a week at least when I pull out the new set to wash the old set that I've been using. I think it's a good plan. We'll see if it works. Cause I don't want to end up with a I don't want to end up with a big stack of brushes. You know what I mean? Like what if I ended up using all my sets and then I didn't have any? And that would be a crap ton to have to wash instead of just having one set at a time. You know what I mean? I don't know. Am I just talking out my ass? I could be. What do you guys think? I like that pink. I think it's pretty. Dun, 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 dun. All right, what do we want to do next? I have got to hurry up, you guys, or I'm never going to have time to edit this video. Brows. Let's do the brows real quick. All right, I'm going to do the brows, and then I'll be back because this might take a few minutes, and I don't want this video to be, like, forever long. All right, I got the brows on. I don't know. It is what it is. I'm going to use this, um... Gimme Brow. I got this in my Busy Beauty Store PR box last month. And I just kinda, I don't know why my hand's shaking. Just kind of 
brush it through. I need to try brow gel. I bet that would help with my brows. I mean, I can't be for sure, but it might. It'd be worth a try. It would be worth a try to see if it helps me do my brows just a little bit better. All right, I'm doing this ass backwards. I'm gonna put some concealer on. I'm gonna use this e.l.f. hydrating concealer. Dun, dun, dun. Affordable makeup. I don't know if this is, I might have just messed this up, but we'll see. sealer down hopefully that looks all right I need to prime my lids I used this yesterday this pretty vulgar eye primer and I got this in a busy beauty store PR box so I'm gonna use this again today that's what it looks like just a little dot so anyways back to the story now that I got my eyes primed we'll get on this we'll get into this um, ColourPop on a whimsy. I had a comment that said they would like to see this palette, so um, we're gonna give it a whirl and see how she works. Yeah, I love me some ColourPop. Dun 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 dun. All right, what brush? I'm starting to get a mess on my desk, you guys. I really am. This is no bueno. I'm gonna go into Mary Go Go. But um, so we went back east. We visited my sister. We went to the football game. We came home. You know, we're doing our thing, living our lives, working, paying bills, you know. And, uh, you know, I text my sister every once in a while, you know, to say hi, see how she's doing. Because I knew she was busy taking care of my grandma. So, and you know, I, I mean, it's making excuses. It really is. Um, because you just get busy and sometimes you don't, you know, talk to each other as much as you should. And I regret that very much so. I wish that I would have messaged her more. Because she used to live out here and we were pretty close when she was out here. But even when she was out here, you know, she was married and taking care of her house. And I was married and working and taking care of my house. And you know, you just don't have time to see each other all the time. But we really made it count when we did. You know what I mean? Like, we went to madonna concert together and whoops the brushes are falling all over the place but we did a lot of things and then we would go to her house on the holidays and she would make my grandma's um roast which oh my gosh the house smelled so amazing so amazing you know it's like one of those scents that kind of you smell and it takes you back to some of the happiest memories that you have that's what that smell is for me when i when i smell it cooking it's like it reminds me of grandma's house and family and being together and just fun stuff like that i'm going into i think it says greatest ever and i'm just going to tap it in the crease here when i was at work on my birthday and I had missed phone calls and I was on my break and I went to call and I can't remember who had called me. I think my uncle Ernie had called me, which I thought was kind of not weird, but um, I didn't think that he would be the one to call me because I thought maybe it was my grandma because my grandma, well, she's 96 now. Um, was getting old and you know you just kind of you expect that phone call you know what I mean like you don't want it but you know that your grandmother is you know I, I just expect to get that phone call one of these days it weighs heavy on my mind all the time and every time like vacation time comes around that's when I'm like okay I need to schedule a trip so I can get back there and I just hope and pray that I get one more visit you know what I mean? And COVID's made it a little hard, but when I went back there um, in March, I think it was March, was it March? Yeah, and when I went back there in March, um, it 
my cousin was able to make it so that I could visit my grandma, which was really nice. And um, I just love that woman so much, you know? But I expected the phone call to be telling me that my grandma had passed. And um, my sister called me right when I was trying, my sister Brandy called me right when I was getting ready to return a phone call. Oh, and then my cousin Faith had called me too. And I was like, something's wrong. <laughs> like, I feel like inside, maybe I knew, but like, all I could think is it's my grandma, my grandma. And um, I told Brandy, I was like, not today, because it was my birthday. You know what I mean? So as soon as I answered the phone, I didn't even say hi. I was like, Brandy, not today, not today, not today. Why today? Not today. That's all I kept saying. And she's like, it's not grandma. And I was like, huh? She was like, it's Missy. And dude, I literally lost my shit. I lost my shit. I didn't know what to do. I was shaking. I started crying. One of the ladies came up to me and she's like, are you okay? And I'm like, I don't know. My sister died. And like, it was so weird when I heard myself saying it because it was like, my sister died. My sister died. That's all I could keep saying. And then I called my boss and I said, I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do right now. And I was crying and she was like, you know, Renee, you need to calm down. She wouldn't let me drive. She told me to call a friend. Luckily for me, my best friend, Lisa, was actually in Tacoma. Like, I don't know how that ended up happening because she lives like, she lives like an hour and 10 minutes away. And I hadn't talked to her. I'm going into Main Street and I'm just tapping it out here. Um, she's, she, she doesn't like coming up here. She just doesn't. Since she got used to living down there and everything, she's just, uh, she doesn't like driving on the freeways and stuff too. You know what I mean? So, um, for her and her husband to be up here in Tacoma on that very day at that very time, um, because I called, I tried to call my ex-husband. I tried to call him like, I don't know how many times. I tried to call him like, I think he was working nights at the time though. And I think that's why he was sleeping. But I tried to call his phone like, I don't know, four or five times and he didn't answer. So then I called Lisa just to talk to her, you know, not much she could do if she was over an hour away. Um, and she said she was in Tacoma and her and her husband came and picked me up and brought me home because my boss didn't want me driving. And she was like, you need to go. So I got home and I came in the room and he was sleeping and I was crying and he was like, what's wrong? What's wrong? And I was like, Missy died. So we made a bunch of plans and stuff like that. And, um, went back East to have the funeral and it was like really hard, you know, like, of course it was, but like, I don't know. And my sister came back there with me. We went back at the same time and she was going through a lot at that time as well. And this didn't help, you know, I think. I think mental health is like really important and I don't think there's enough help out there for it. That was one thing I worried about my whole life was if I was going to be like my mom with her depression and stuff like that. And she was bipolar, so she was always taking medication. And my sister, Brandy, she barely remembers the whole time because she was like kind of in a just state of depression and um she came through it great though she really did but she barely remembers everything and it is kind of a blur now you know what I mean like I remember stuff I remember going through her things I remember taking some of her clothes and some of her jerseys her football jerseys and the thing I remember the most, which is why I love Armani Code for Women, it's my favorite, aside from the fact that it smells really freaking good, 
but um, she had like a, a bottle, the purple and black, I think it's like a purple and black bottle, uh, really purpley though, because she loved purple, of course, Baltimore Ravens, purple and black. So um, I took that bottle, there was only very little bit of left and I sprayed it and um, I took one of her hats and I wore it when we went to her viewing. I put the, I didn't even tell you what I did. I put taffy much, I think it's taffy much. I'll put pictures in so that you guys can see. I'm just using this brush right here to kind of blend this out a little bit. But it was really great because my uncle, my uncle John, his family, our families together are like, amazing because when something like that happens they all band together like my uncle john's family um made all the food and everything and offered their house so that because we had the viewing and then um we went back to the house for a couple hours and then we went back because there was two days of viewings was it two days or was it one day maybe it was one day and you go in for like three hours and everybody comes in and, um, you know, to say their goodbyes and they sign the guest book. And my cousin Ray had made a, like a video full of pictures of when we were little, you know, um, and he's, oh God, he did such a great job. And it was, it was a long, it was a long video. The one I made for my sister, Michelle, it's on my YouTube channel. Cause um, I lost my sister Michelle as well a few years ago. Um, but I actually made her memorial video and I was really proud of it. But it's super long because like, think about it. That's a lot of years to fit into um, one little short video. You know what I mean? It's not easy. But it was a great video and great service. My uncle gave us his plot for my sister so that she could be buried with my grandma um, because they had, my grandma and grandpa bought a plot, bought their plots together and my grandfather's buried there. And there's a plot for my grandma and um, my uncle had bought the one above it so that he was gonna be buried with his mom. He's the oldest child. And he gave that to my sister and to help us out because it was, expensive it was so expensive and luckily for me at the time I had a credit card and um I had enough to be able to you know pay for it for everybody and then I was gonna have to make payments on it but when you had to put a down payment um so it's it was it was rough but we got through it and with the help of family it was it was awesome it was you know it was sad but everybody made it a little bit easier, I guess you could say. All right, I'm gonna use my new Jeffree Star powder and just kind of powder down my face a little bit. I really hope I can get this video up in time. Let me get this face brush. But my sister Missy, she was six years younger than me. And it was totally unexpected and it just, it knocked me down a little bit, you know what I mean? For a little while. Um, I remember one night after um, I found out that she died, I was, I woke up just crying, like, and got out of bed to go to the bathroom because I woke up crying. Like it was the weirdest feeling I've ever felt. Um, Cause I was, I guess I was in a dream and in the dream, you know, this was happening and, uh, I just, it was hard. And I had one dream about her one time and it was me and her and we were sitting in my grandma's living room and we were working on <clears throat> my son's math homework. And I think the reason that was in there is because I was having a hard time struggling with junior with math at that time. I don't know, but she was helping me and I remember looking at her and I was like, why and she was like and I was like what happened and she was like I don't want to talk about it and then I woke up and I was just like and my ex was like you know I know I know I know and he was really good at that time with me he really was but it was hard 
it was super hard. And I miss that she was an amazing person. She really was. And she had her moments like I do where she got irritated, but she would give the shirt off her back for anybody. And I miss her so much and her little attitude and her cooking holiday dinners. And just the first time my ex-husband cheated on me, she was there for me, you know, the entire time. So it's hard. <laughs> what else am I going to do? I think I'm. that's it. I think that's it. I'm going to use my vegan beauty lash primer i think i've had this for almost three months so i think it's about time to get ready to toss it because i have other stuff that i want to get into other mascaras and stuff i have this white one from flower beauty that my sister got me and I've seen Drew Barrymore wear it, but I just don't know. I'm using my um, ColourPop Act Natural, Act Natural Black Mascara. I feel like I want to tell you guys a little bit more, but I don't know. I'm a little bit nervous about it, I guess. But I guess the best way to do it is just to let it out. Um... To find out wh why and how my sister died was a really hard thing too because it didn't it didn't need to happen. Um, she overdosed. And uh, to find out that your sister died of an overdose on your birthday like it kind of taints it, it like not taints I don't want to sound like I don't I don't know how to explain it it just it makes the day hard because you know on my birthday the one thing that I'm thinking about is my sister died and um there's people ha who have helped me a lot on those days especially Brandy <laughs> um, she comes over. What am I going to do now? Uh, let me do my eyeliner. I'm going to use this KVD cake pencil and do tight line real quick. But Brandy comes over. She has the last couple years, like three or four times. She comes over on my birthday. Like one year she came over with balloons and a chai tea latte because she knows I like chai tea lattes. So she came over. She came over with balloons and a chai tea latte. And then last year, last year was like, <laughs> she came over. I'm going to use this Beauty Creations Aquamarine color and put it on my waterline. She came over and she had a chai tea latte and she had balloons and she was live on Facebook. And she's like, I don't know how to do this, but she was live on Facebook because her and my cousins had worked together to get me a cameo from uh, one of the guys from my soap opera, Eric Martsoff. He plays Eric Brady, but oh my gosh, that man, I love him so much. Um, but they got me a cameo from him. And if you don't know what a cameo is, it's where people pay money. And the, the actor or singer or whoever offers the cameos will make a personal cameo to you. All right, I'm going to go in with funnel, which is the darkest color. So it was, um, it was a cameo from him. And to see him talking specifically to me and I have a video on my channel I'll try to find it and link it down below if if I can scrounge it up but like as soon as I opened the door I started crying like really she's like, oh don't cry and then she she gave me the phone and I started watching it 
And I was a mess, you guys. I was a mess. This whole thing was live on Facebook. I had like <laughs> snot coming out my nose, which was like, I'm sure really, you know, attractive. But I mean, I'm gonna put a little bit on my lash line too. This video is getting super long. I should have put this on before I put my mascara. I'm ass backwards. But like, I think like she knows that it's a little hard that day. And so she tries to make my birthday special, which means so much to me. It really does. It helps me get through the day. But I'm like crying like I have to, I have to go to work. But I think that if you or somebody you know is struggling with drug addiction to try to get them help. Um, Cause I wish that I would have, I don't know, done more for my sister. Although I don't know that there's anything I could have done that would have made her stop using. Um, Cause she had used for years, you know, on and off. I even dabbled with her when she first moved out here with me. I went to a rave with her. I went to a couple raves and um, I tried a couple different things, which I'm grateful that for, a, cause for a month, one whole month, I kind of got drug in a little bit to it. And I started getting behind on my bills and stuff like that after just one month. And I just was like, I can't do this. You know what I mean? Like, I, I can't do this. But I can see how that kind of life grabs a hold of you a little bit. Especially if you're struggling mentally. It's almost like self-soothing, self-medicating. Now, with... Uh, marijuana like I see nothing wrong with that you know what I mean it's the other stuff and my sister was pretty heavy into some hard stuff and um, I don't think you know who expects that that's gonna happen you know you think you trust certain people but you can't because in the end they're only in it to make the money but there was a good there was one time she went to treatment years ago when she was younger and she did so good for a while and I don't know what happened to take her back into that life again except for depression mental health like it really needs more attention you know because maybe if she had better access I don't know maybe if I pushed harder maybe she would still be here you know I I, I just don't know it's a hard thing it's a really hard thing you know, because I know it's not my fault, you know, but there's always that part of you that was, you know, thinks I could have done better. I, you know, is there, there's nothing I can do about it now, but, and I understand that. I'm going to use my new Jacqueline lip cushion. My lips are so dry, you guys. They're starting to, I need to be better with my lip moisturizer. I don't know. I'll try to remember to put some links in the description box. You know, I I don't even know how I ended up talking about this. I really don't. Except for that my birthday is coming up and so it's weighing heavy on my mind. I'm going to use this, the gloss Jeffree Star PR. I got this month PR. The powder PR, the palette PR. It smells kind of good. This video is going to be super long, you guys, and I apologize. All right, well, that's it for today. Hopefully, I didn't bring anybody down or anything like that, but it's just weighing on my mind. And I always get a little sad, like super sad. I mean, I always miss her. Like I think about her all the time, but this time of year, like 
December to February because December is when we went to the game and we're on vacation and then February comes and that's when she passed away. And then right after that is April, which is my mom's birthday and the month that she passed away at 49, had a heart attack. Like, so <laughs> you factor in my age, the things that happen, Missy's birthday and Brandy's birthdays are one day apart in November. So it's like, I don't know, I'm getting close to the age I was when my mom died and my sister died at a young age and then my sister Michelle died when I think she just turned 50. So I don't know, it was hard. Anyways, I'm gonna let you guys go. This video is super long and hopefully I can cut it down. If not, I will see you in the um, premiere. So I'll make it a premiere and hopefully the length of the video, it won't mind too much. My sister's calling me. I'm going to have to answer that. But I hope you guys have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening. Whatever time of day it is that you're watching this, make sure you go visit Kat. I love you all so very much. Stay safe. Take care. And I hope I'll see you in my next video. I love you, Kat. Thank you for another week. Mwah. Bye, guys. Real quick, I'm going to use my Jacqueline highlighter. I'm gonna put a little on the inner corner. I got this in my Busy Beauty Store PR box too. Put it up here a little bit. I love it. That's so pretty, that's so pretty. All right, I'm gonna let you guys go. I gotta get this edited and get out the freaking door and talk to my sister. So, all right, love you guys, bye.